So I stayed up until 4 a.m. last night editing a video, and I'm supposed to be at Brady's house at 10 this morning so that we can uh, go to Walmart and buy a whiteboard so that we can do your next video. But I'm so freaking tired right now, dude. Like, that means I'd have to get up out of bed, I'd have to get dressed, I'd have to get in my car, I'd have to go to the store, then I'd have to find where the whiteboards are. I'd have to check out. Then I'd have to come all the way back and set it up just so that I could show you guys how to do that. And honestly, I think that could wait for a little bit. Like, anyways, I am going to get some more rest. Uh, and good night. I'll see you in a minute. I'm going to start this series off by showing you guys how to calculate your macros uh, in case you wanted to like actually follow along with me on this journey. find your like macros whatever you should be calculating you need to find your maintenance first which we're gonna go based off of, like a very general calculation where you use your body weight but it's body weight times 14 to 16 so that's a range there the range if you like all right so this is kind of depending on your job what you do for a living if you have a very sedentary job like if you just work in an office or you sit on your butt eight hours a day you're going to lean more towards this 14 hour or 14 uh, more towards 14. If you are a laborer or you work outside or on your feet all day, you're going to be more towards 16. So let's say if, actually I'll just use like my own weight from the beginning of this prep, well, the calculator. So my own weight from the beginning of the prep was right at 143. So 2002, that's my maintenance calories. And that's just like what my body needs to maintain its weight. If your goal is to like lose weight, typically you want to subtract between 250 to 500. Looks like an S. And normally I just go with 500, which is a really aggressive approach. So whatever, what is that? 1502. So that is now my exact number of calories that I need to be hitting every day if I'm trying to lose weight. Uh -oh. All right, so now we're gonna find what our protein should be in grams and also our fat. So the formula for that is gonna be body weight, which again is 143 for, for me, times 0 0.75 to 1.25 is our range. So what that is is like, all right, so if you are a little bit heavier, then you need to be probably around 0.75 and if you're a little bit leaner and holding more muscle then you need more protein to maintain that muscle. For fat, it's going to be your body weight times 0.03 to 0.04, that's our range. And that just kind of depends on if you prefer more fat in your diet versus carbs, you would do 0.4. I normally just go smack in the middle and do 0.35. So for this, we have our body weight, which is 143, and I, I normally just do one gram per pound of body weight um, as like the standard. So 143 times one equals honestly 143 grams. Okay, so that is our protein. Keep that in mind. The next thing we need to do is find our carbs. Again, is body weight 143 
times my standard D3.5. And we get fifty point zero five grams. Okay? So that's how I find that. So now what we need to do is find out how many calories are in both of these total. Alright, so now I need to find out how or how many calories are in each of these. So for protein, you're gonna multiply this number times four because there's four calories for every gram of protein, and there's nine calories for every gram of fat. So, 143 times four, what's that number? Equals, uh, let me see, 572 calories. Alright, so now after this what we're going to do is we are going to subtract, we're going to add these numbers up together, we'll get 1022 because now what we have to do is we have to subtract our total amount of calories minus the total of our uh, calories from our proteins and fats. Okay. 480 is the number of calories uh, that we get allotted for carbs now. So now there's now we know that four carbs or four calories is in a gram of carbs. So we're going to divide 480 divided by four, and we get 120 grams of carbs. Let me rewrite that. All right, so now we have our proteins equals 143, fats equal 51.05, carbs equals 120 grams. Calories equals what is it? So that's pretty much it. Uh, 143 grams of protein, about 50 grams of fat, and 120 grams of carbs for our total daily calories uh, for an aggressive cut kind of cut would be 1,502 calories. Um, that's pretty much it. So, I'm like a little under the weather because, uh, long story, but pretty much when I was at Brady's house the other night, we uh, had a little dare and uh, we all snorted coke. Come on, go. <laughs> 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 I kind of laughed. Hold on. <laughs> Anyways, I think I got a sinus infection from that, and uh, I've been like sick and I've had a headache. Don't snort coke, kids. Don't do drugs. Stay in school. But I'm at most. I just got a burrito. Since I'm doing like this whole um, like macros thing, I decided I would go ahead and show you guys what I'm eating today. Which basically this is all I've had today. It's like. 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I think, already. Actually, it's closer to 3 o'clock, and this is all I've, I've had all day. But, it's like pretty high in calories. I think it's like 900 calories, something like that. My total for the day is 1,600, basically. 
but um, yeah.